I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Die Rise sucks from the moment it starts to the moment I am dead on the floor. I will try to give Die Rise grace wherever I can, but I can't promise that that's going to be a lot throughout this video. Die Rise sucks, and I am going to treat it as such. I'll give Treyarch something. The idea of fighting zombies amongst a collapsing Chinese skyscraper is a wonderful idea. However, the way that they've gone about doing it is absolutely god-awful. From the get-go, Die Rise is off to an amazing start. You spawn in the probably worst looking spawn room in the entirety of zombies and it only gets worse from there i mean seriously it's dirty there's stuff all over the floor there's parts just thrown about everywhere with no real rhyme or reason why they're there it's just awful and i hate every bit of it now i don't want to bash completely on die rise even though that's probably what i'm going to be doing the rest of this video it has a very pretty skybox and the surroundings don't look terrible I mean, they're fairly realistic for what China's gonna look like in 2025, but what I'm more interested in is the gameplay and the surroundings that I'm actually going to be surrounded about. The entire map is just dirty and disgusting. The map only gets worse throughout the spawn room, although I didn't know that was possible whenever I first played this map. To get to the more important building than the spawn building that you spawn in and don't really have to come back to ever again, you have to go down multiple elevator shafts so yeah, you have to go about going down an entire elevator shaft with roof panels and all this other crap just thrown about in it, and then you find the best gun in the map, the AN-94, just on the wall for 1200 points. Yeah, I love having basically the best gun in the game just chilling right in front of me. Seriously, I don't think I've ever hit the box on this map. I feel like I've only ever hit the box whenever I'm trying to get the Reagan Mark II. For the rest of the time, I'm just dealing with the slick will fire an AN-94. I couldn't even tell you where most of these box spawns are in Die Rise because I've never seen the box on this map. So let's say you finally get down the elevator shaft, grab the best gun on the map, and then you go down, you go to the other building. Cool. You turn on the power. Cool. Then what? Then you're subjected to having your perks being randomized. Look, if you like the randomized perk system because you don't like knowing where Jug is every single time, that's fine. Some people are masochists, but don't force it into the map. I think that they did this infinitely better with the next map pack that they did, Nuketown. Oh, okay, so you've gotten the power on, you've gotten all your randomly selected perks that you got very lucky on, and now the jumping jacks are coming around to jump all over your grave. I'm not even going to mention that these are complete copycats of the Kino crawlers. I'm just going to say that these things suck. Sure, they get you a free perk if you kill them with 100% accuracy, but who's doing that on round 5? If they were spawned in on maybe round 8, the same time as around the Panzer, I could see that that would be at least a little bit more compensated, because you could get the Bowie knife, you can get other things that would make you have 100% accuracy, but on round 5, I'm barely out of the spawn room. So you've gotten past the Nova 6 crawler ripoffs, and now you want to go get the Wonder Weapon. Is it in the box? No, of course it isn't. Because this is post-transit, everybody, and that means that the parts are all over the map, scattered around for you to go on a shitty little treasure hunt to go find them. The Sliquifier parts are thrown around in a very specific area that is thrown around with trash. It fits in with all the rest of them. So you just end up skirting around the walls trying to find out where these parts are, and then you have to end up looking at a tutorial. I don't want to look at a tutorial every time I play a zombies map. And for all the hassle you go through to get all the local fire parts, you do get one of the best wonder weapons ever introduced. Pre-patch, it was doing infinite damage infinitely. That's crazy and was good for high rounds. One of the only good things to come out of Die Rise, I guess. But now, here's my biggest issue with Die Rise. The falling. The elevators. Both of them suck. The elevators are your main source of transportation between the roof and the rest of the map. The roof is where you're going to be spending most of your time in Die Rise. If you've ever played a game of Die Rise in your life, you know how awful these falls are to handle. If you fall off, even with Quick Revive, you're going to spawn back in the spawn room with the M1911. Do you understand how deadly that is anywhere past round 4? And on the topic of resurrecting with the spawn pistol, imagine the only perk that got added on this map. 
the one saving grace, the thing that is supposed to save your life whenever you die. Who's Who is the worst perk in all of Zombies and just so happened to debut on the worst map of all time. Could you imagine that? Honestly, I'm not even going to complain about Who's Who. It feels like its own little video that could spawn. I feel like Who's Who fits Die Rise perfectly. It's completely useless and nobody would ever want to play with it. So yeah, in short, I really don't like Die Rise and I feel like this video has perfectly illustrated that through my whiny little rants about the map. Believe me, I, I think I know how whiny this video is. And if you disagree, completely understand. This map can find an audience, I just don't know where. So if you liked my crappy little opinions about Die Rise, please be sure to like and subscribe. It dearly does help me out. And uh, yeah, I guess, see ya.